So um, let's take a look at this. What we did was re we did a quick little review of prime numbers. And remember what we looked at, we say, you know, what, what makes numbers prime? And that what makes a number prime is if we can um, only be divided by itself in one. So I looked at two examples of 6 and 11, and those are both prime numbers. But then if we look at the number 6, what we talked about was the number 6 is not a prime number because it can be divided by other numbers. And those two other numbers are, you know, 3 and 2. Now, the one thing, so when I say factor out 6, what we want to do is write it out as a product of its factors, which in this fact or would be what multiply is. So 6 times 2, we 3 times our 6. Factoring 6, writing it as a product of <coughs> its prime factors, which would be 3 and 2. All right? So if we're going to fact, so the main important thing I want you guys to understand from this is when we factor something, something out, we're looking at to set it up as a multiplication of its two of two prime factors. So that's going to lead us into here we have a problem 8m minus 6. Now initially we need to remember about adding and subtracting like terms. We cannot combine 8m minus 6. It does not equal 6m, it does not equal 6, it does not equal m. Remember we can only combine like terms when they have the same base and the same exponent. Well this has an m with it. This is 8 times m, and this doesn't have an m, so you could not combine them. All right, So you leave them just like that, 8m minus 6. Uh, in the problem, we are asking, though, to factor it. So what we want to do is we want to be able to write this as a multiplication problem, All right, a multiplication of its two factors. So what I can do to write this as a multiplication problem, I'm going to do a little bit what we like to call kind of reverse disturbed property, but I also want to see what is it that these two problems share? So if I look at an 8m and a negative 6, um, what we want to think about is if we review the straight property, the straight property states whenever we have a number outside of parentheses, we multiply that number times both of the numbers inside of parentheses. All right? So what we're going to do is we're going to try to see Let's see if we can factor out a number that both 8m and negative 6 share. Okay? So that's what I want you to do is think about a number that they're going to be sharing. Um, so what number could you say maybe we could divide out out of 8m that we could also divide out of negative 6? Yeah. Okay, and the main important thing now is two works. We also want to think of think of always the largest number, or what we like to call the greatest common factor. Is 2 the largest number that divides into 8m and divides into negative 6? Yes, it is, actually. All right, and what, pretty much what I mean by dividing in, can you do um, 8m divided by 2? Does 2 divide into 8m? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. That makes 4m. And can you do negative 6 divided by 2? Yes, it does. Yeah, you can. That equals negative 3. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out or divide out my 2. So when I pull them out, I've now created this to become 4m minus 3. So what you do is you find the greatest factor, Vanessa, you find the greatest factor, and you factor it out or divide it out. So when I divide 8m by 2, I get 4m. When I divide negative 6 by 2, I get negative 3. And let's just double check our work, or before I check our work. Now, have we written this number as a product, a multiplication? of two factors, right? Have we written? Yes. Yes, it's now a product of two prime factors. These don't share anything in common, right? We can't factor anything else out of here, and we can't factor anything out of our two, so these are our two prime factors on 8m minus 6. So we've now written it as a multiplication problem. So therefore, that is going to be your factor form. And what I was talking about earlier was if you want to check your work, just apply the distributive property. 2 times 4m is 8m. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Okay? And that's it. Yep.